Hey folks, Green Stuff Gav here. This time we've got um, another unboxing. I do believe this is uh, this month's Warhammer Imperium magazines. Um, now for those who haven't seen any of the previous videos, is Warhammer Imperium is a uh, monthly subscription by Hatchet Parkworks, where they give you a magazine with some figures and it's all about, all designed around new people new to the hobby and uh, new to the Warhammer 40,000 game. Now this time we're in a, a different kind of package because I think this is the art book mentioned last week, uh, last month, so I thought we'd open it up and we'd have a look. So you open it upside down so you guys don't get my address details. Here we go. So we've got issue 50, 29, two novels will come back to first, 48, and 47. So, novels, Bones of the Martyr and Kjalma's Skull, both by Tom Horth. See that very glossy, um, shiny books. I haven't read either of these. I don't even know what they're about. But quite quite a nice little hard sleeve hard book case. Let's have a look. Very cool packaging, I like that a lot. Of course, don't tell us anything about what they're about. So this uh, blurb is the same that was in the Warhammer Legends collection, um, which was a hundred novels, all of 40k, 30k. Nothing about it either, it goes straight into book. No introduction or nothing, so, hmm. Sisters, Cutie, Marcius, so that's Sisters about a book. Bones of the Martyr has got to be the same. I do like that cover. Same blurb. Sister Spears, so yeah, two books about the Sisters of Battle. They're really nice. I like them. I don't know if they're worth 24 quid, but well, that's what I like about. But it's very nice packaging. I don't know what I paid for the other books. I think they were a tenner apiece. So, to the bit that everyone's interested in, Warham Imperium, issue 47. There's two banks in this issue. We have got Wild Rider Red, which is an orange, and Pink Horror, which is pink. Nice shade, that Pink Horror. Packaging, right. Imperium 47. Sister Repentia, we had some of those in the last shoe. Battle records, I like I do like these. These are quite cool. Squad name, Perdition's Grace. I mean, you can name each of the girls and what they did wrong. Abandon their sisters, pursue personal vengeance. Mm. Arco Flagellants first appeared in Inquisitor, I do believe. 54 mil. Unknowingly served the corrupted Imperial Governor. So you're lobotomized. Ha. Uh, Towns of the Emperors, the Custards. Children of the Worm. Some story. Painting using the colours we've got. So they use pink colour as a highlight. Wild Rider as a highlight. I don't think that's going to work. It's a very thin paint, but we'll see. 
Sisters Battle Rules, or Adeptus Sororitas, however you want to call it. Again, I don't know how well these um, line up to the current rules, uh, or the current codex, army book, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, not a lot in that issue. Not great. 48, more terrain, two miniatures. Hmm. Hmm. Calling the miniatures as being a bit. Yeah. Again, they're different, but they match the same sprues that we had last time. So I love all these intricate details. Really nice. Little busted keypad. Lovely door. Yeah. I might as well when class was two miniatures. Oh, cool. I need more terrain. Dark Angel. Mm. Dark Angels about the Space Marine Buck Apothecarian. Helix. Yeah, it's quite cool. Pure Creeds, about penitent engines, about to, mm, terrain. Again, this is really interesting that they start with white, then they ink it black, or ink it with black ink to and then dry brush afterwards. Really, really, really interesting. Like I say, if they do come out like that, that'd be quite nice. I don't know. Yeah. Back to Faith the Sisters of Battle. And a scenario where we've got some Sisters of Battle. It's a necklace. Yeah. Issue 49, we've actually got miniatures in this issue. All of these things. So, Sisters of Battle reveled in obscurity for a long time. They had some metal models in the... Ooh, 93, I want to say. And then had a slight um, additional models way back when, but never really had a lot. Um, and then GW just suddenly dropped, always hinted about it, and then just dropped the plastic sisters of battle in a limited edition box set. And that's basically what this sprue, these sprues are. Um, I think it's now the Combat Patrol. I'd have to look it up. So there's your sister Repentia, no, Mistress of Repentance. She leads the Archiflagellants. There's one. I love this eye, this um, big icon. There are a few options, and there's plenty of like, there's the option of helmeted heads or bare heads, which I really like. I mean, they're all effectively mono pose, but you'll find there's like a, an option for each miniature. So, for example, this one can either have the um, can have a chainsaw to be a superior, or it can have the icon to be a whatever they're called. Yeah, lovely models. Painted an army of them. So you got your penitent engine. What must be four sisters? The mistress repentance. Yeah, I think there's one more sprue, two more sprues to make the combat patrol. What have we got here? Penitent engine. Mm -hmm. Path to redemption. 
Destroy a unit in one round, defeat your character, take control of an objective all at once. I do, uh, I do like these, that they give, you know, the opportunity to mark down when your dudes do something cool. But. Cool model. Mm, right, how to build. This could be an in depth one, I do believe. Yeah, so model 2B can be done with a bolt gun or a storm bolter. Oh. Yeah, it can be done with the. whatever that's called. I'll have to look it up. Some of these, uh, so the penitent engine is getting this clip and these bits on right. It's a bit, bit of a mish because you've got to put them together and while it's still wet, fold it up. Real pain in the ass. Flaming Corpse. Simulcrum Imperialis, that's what it's called. So yeah, no one all straight over here. I'm surprised we haven't done any contrast. Very basic, but I do like that they're using the colours that we actually have had so far. Again, rules don't know how well they... Uh, um, oh, I like that. Penitent engines can advance and charge. Five plus feel no pain. Cannot perform action. So yeah, that does sound like a current edition. What's this? It's just fluff, fluff in background. Issue with the red the sprues there, but no, it's a mission. Wow. Loads of stuff, all the sisters, and I think that's all of the space marines against all the Necrons. You put all the mats together to make a proper sized board. I like that. I like that a lot. Issue 50. Ooh. Ooh. So. Right, this is going to sell very, very quickly. So I'd recommend trying to get hold of it because, I mean, we've mentioned before, these these issues are very good value for money. You know, you're paying eight ninety nine an issue, and so far across three issues, we've pretty much had the Sisters of Battle Combat Patrol. But in this, this one sprue at the moment retails for £70 from GW. It was only available in Indominus. And obviously it's got the Royal Court sprue. Which is the Sec of the Lord, whatever it's called. The big tall thing, the Crypto Thrall. So yeah, that's for £9. Or, yeah, £9, £8.99. That's crazy. I do like all this detail. Then. I'll give, oh, look at the little scarabs, tiny little scarabs. Um, I'll give GW their due. Like I say, they are gorgeous models. They're doing amazing things with plastic. It's just the price is obscene. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. It's nice. Royal Court. Canoptic Repair Unit. 
the Canoptic Reanimator. Again, we got the cool names, protocols, models reanimated. Matriarch, so more sisters of battle fluff. Saint Mina of the Bloody Rose. Mm. Sacred Rose. That filled the Royal Court. Five mil base and three thirties. Better keep these bases separate, aren't I? Not big reanimator. Smells together. Yeah, to be fair, they're not massive amount of bits to assemble. Paint these bad boys. These are the paints we've received. Yeah, that's cool. Score pack lord, plasma snake, plasma answer to cryptic folds. Mm. And rules for the canoptic reanimator. Explodes! I need to reanimate it from this against all the sisters. Yeah. Ooh. All in all, very, very cool. Like I say, is um, I imagine the Royal Cult issue, issue 50, is going to sell like hotcakes. So if you see the opportunity to buy it from Hatchet Park, which I probably would. And obviously, for those of us who've got the Indominus Necrons up for trade, is prices are going to plummet. So, but yeah, it's actually, we've got some more sisters, so I'm imagining next month we'll get the bits to finish off um, the Combat Patrol. And that should be it for sisters. Might get some more Marines soon. But not bad, not bad issue, nice bit of terrain. And those books are going just, I can't wait to actually read them through. They're very, very shiny. So, um, I'm going to look forward to that. But as always, thanks for watching and have fun.